Hey, Brett Jones here with a quick mobility session inspired by a ground force method, an FMS partner that incorporates classic mobility drills from FMS. So we're gonna get started in this mobility session with some seated ankle pumps and circles. This is kind of your opportunity to get started, check in on how uh, the uh, lower body's feeling. Um, we know how critical ankle mobility is, so these pumps and ankle circles allow you to uh, really check in on what's happening uh, down there. Then we go to some figure four switches where I start to explore a little bit of hip mobility. That takes me into an ankle sit. Uh, using that figure four switch into an ankle sit, really working good dorsi and plantar flexion on both sides. Uh, then I transition um, into uh, an anterior chain or quad stretch uh, kind of a combination here. I'm in this deep lunge position. I'm going to reach back and grab that uh, opposite side quad uh, and, and really get a great anterior chain and uh, stretch to open up um, the, all of those muscles that get tight from sitting too much, which I think we've all been doing uh, as we spent more time at home and on the computers. Don't be afraid to shift around, explore that range of motion. Um, and really enjoy uh, moving into that uh, anterior chain stretch. Now I'm going to transition into a seated position, uh, working some neck extension with jaw opening. Uh, this is important because uh, motion of the neck is tied to motion of the jaw. I do a couple more drills uh, for the neck, uh, some uh, nice little dance moves there that takes me into a little T-spine mobility, some shoulder rotations, and our classic shoulder mobility reach. Uh, that's going to take me into transitioning to a uh, prone position where I'm going to do just a prone spine extension. Just check in on how that's feeling. Go right into my rib grab. Nice stacked side lying position. Uh, pull that knee to the chest. Do that rotation. Cycle of breath. Feel really comfortable there. Come back into bretzel. Uh, again, another anterior chain stretch looking at T-spine plus anterior chain. Um, obviously, if I did it on one side, I've got to transition over and uh, explore the other side. And again, we just start with the rib grab. Uh, you'll see I'm a little tighter on the right side. It takes me a couple of breaths to get fully down on this side and then back into the bretzel. Which is then going to take me back to a prone uh, spine extension. Uh, which I um, just enjoy doing, um, opening up that anterior chain even more. Then I'm going to shift into a supine position, and I'm doing some uh, prone ankle circles, so exploring that active straight leg raise position. And again, using those ankle circles to move everything. Um, all the tissues are going to get uh, an opportunity to move as I perform those ankle circles and explore that active straight leg raise. Once I've done that on both sides, I will transition into an active leg lower. I'm going to be in that same prone position, take the legs towards the sky, uh, six to eight active leg lowers uh, that will, um, again, open up those hips, open up that um, uh, active straight leg raise pattern. Moving into my knee to chest stretch, just uh, exploring that deep hip flexion passively which is then gonna take me into these cross crawls or the setup for the hard roll. Um, arms are overhead, legs are extended, bring that opposite uh, elbow to knee. Again, exploring active deep hip flexion and the ability to come to midline uh, on both sides. Um, I think this is a really neat pattern. Notice my head is down. That takes me into my hard roll where I maintain contact between the elbow and knee and then perform the hard roll uh, to both sides, finish off with another uh, cross crawl on each side. And then I'm going to uh, flip up into just exploring a little bit of a deep squat position. And that really uh, just a nice way to finish off that mobility complex. So enjoy this quick mobility session that really targets everything. Uh, a lot of emphasis on ankles, hips, and T-spine, a little bit of movement skill, really nice daily practice to make sure you're keeping a high level of movement quality.